Hello, everybody. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. This is your host, Captain Morin. This is your 10-minute sports report for the 26th of December, 2023. Again, I hope everyone had a great and wonderful Christmas. Hope you were able to surprise someone with a gift that you gave or gave someone an absolute fabulous gift. I gave out some fabulous gifts. I received fabulous gifts that I was not expecting. Uh, One of which is a new headset. I haven't even took the plastic off here. New headset. Um, I am taking up streaming just a tad bit. Um, I'm really bad at it, but you know, hey, that's the only way you can improve. So I will be actually streaming right after I drop this episode. Uh, We will be doing the Bears franchise with Roberto and picking that back up. So let me get you all caught up from the weekend, from Christmas, and let me get you set for the week ahead as well. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start with some college football heard around the world. So on Saturday, the 23rd, 2023, Duke beat Troy without most of their roster. Uh, uh, Duke, Riley Leonard left. They had a couple uh, linemen leave as well via the portal. Their head coach took the Texas A&M job. So they were down. So um, they rallied, they gathered together, and they beat Troy. 17 to 10. Northern Illinois beat Arkansas State 21 19. James Madison, their head coach left, their quarterback also left, kind of in the same situation. Situation Duke was in. They fell to Air Force 31 to 21. Georgia State beat Utah State 45 to 22. Eastern Michigan lost to South Alabama 59 to 10 in the 68 Ventures Bowl right after why they were on the field. Uh, uh, South Alabama was on the field celebrating with the fans. A Eastern Michigan player runs back onto the field and sucker punches a South Alabama fan, which causes a brawl then after the game. Speaking of bras, in the Utah Northwestern game, Northwest, their head coach, Northwestern, is the overachieving team of the year. I picked them to win one game all year. They won seven. They beat Utah 14 to seven. There was a bra in that game as well. Helmets, a player ripped off another player's helmet and was swinging it. It was a whole ordeal. So two fights on Saturday. Coastal Carolina, no fights in this, beat San Jose State 24 to 14. No games on Christmas. There are three games today. Bowling Green, Minnesota, Texas State, Rice, Kansas UNLV. Do not forget that starting on Friday, the 29th, starts your new year six. So we have Missouri, Ohio State. Then Saturday, the 30th, we have Old Miss, Penn State, Georgia, Florida State. And then Monday, the 1st, we have Liberty, Oregon. Alabama, Michigan, and Texas, Washington. Let's check in what happened with the NHL last week. So on Thursday night, uh, the Los Angeles Chargers, oops, I went back too far, excuse me. Let me, well, still on Thursday, the Los Angeles Chargers beat the Vegas, or I'm, I'm sorry, it still didn't flip. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. What are we doing? Computer. Hello. Okay. All right. The Los Angeles Rams on Thursday the 21st beat the New Orleans Saints 30-20. to Matthew Stafford had 328 passing. Puka Nakua set a single season record for a rookie. Uh, with 164 receiving yards, he um, the amount of receiving yards he has this season are all-time rookie records. On Saturday, Pittsburgh just crushed Cincinnati 34-11. to Buffalo came back to beat the Chargers 24-22. to 
on a last second field goal. Indianapolis lost to Atlanta 29 to 10. Seattle had another come from behind win in the last seconds to beat the Titans 20 to 17. Detroit clinched their first division title since 1993 with a 30 to 24 win over the Minnesota Vikings. The New York Jets had a 20 to nothing lead over the Commanders. Let them come all the way back to um, be down 28-27. And then they went on to win on a last second field goal as well, 30-28. to Green Bay beat Carolina on a last minute field goal, 33-30. Cleveland continues to get hotter and hotter and hotter. They beat Houston, 36-22. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Jacksonville Jaguars to, con- to uh, lock up the NFC South Division, 30-12. to Chicago beat the Arizona Cardinals, 27-16. Miami beat Dallas on a last-second field goal with no time remaining, 22-20. New England kicked a field goal as time expires to beat Denver, 26-23. And then yesterday on Christmas, the Vegas R- Raiders beat the Kansas City Chiefs 20 to 14. Pat Mahomes in back to back plays had a fumble recovery for a touchdown and a interception return for a touchdown on back to back plays. The New York Giants went to Philadelphia and lost. Philadelphia survives yet again. Jalen Hurts threw for 301. Philadelphia was up. 20 to 3, and yet the final score was 33 25. And then last night, Brock Purdy threw four interceptions. Lamar Jackson seized control of the MVP race, beating the San Francisco 49ers 33 to 19. Now some standings, if you wouldn't mind, coming down the stretch. So currently, the Baltimore Ravens are a game ahead of the Miami Dolphins for the one seed. The Chiefs will have to, for the first time in the Patrick Mahomes era, will have to play a road game in the playoffs if they get to the second round. Uh, They, with their loss, they cannot get the number one seed. That was minimal anyway, but they are the three seed. Here's where it gets interesting. The Cleveland Browns are 10 and 5. They are the 5th seed. The 6th seed, 9 and 6 Buffalo Bills. 7 seed are the Indianapolis Colts at 8 and 7. The Jacksonville Jaguars are currently leading the AFC South also at 8 and 7. So that's coming down to the wire. And then a third team from the AFC South which would be which would be the Houston Texans are also 8 and 7. Steelers are 8 and 7. Bengals are 8 and 7. Vegas and the Denver Broncos are seven and eight. So still 12 seeds are viable for playoff position. If you go over to the NFC with the Dallas loss and the Eagles win, the Eagles now are the two seed at 11 and four. They hold a tiebreaker over the Lions. The Niners, the Eagles, and the Lions are all 11 and four. Eagles hold the tiebreakers over the Lions. Niners hold the tiebreaker over the Eagles and the Lions there. The Bucks are eight and seven, and they're in the fourth seed. Dallas is ten and five. Would play a road game at Tampa Bay currently. The Rams would go on the road to the Lions, and the Seahawks at seven and eight as well would go on the road to Philadelphia. Vikings are at eight and seven. Falcons are at eight and seven. Packers, I'm, I'm sorry, seven and eight. Packers 7 and 8, Saints 7 and 8, and then the Bears technically are not mathematically eliminated yet at 6 and 9. Let's check on over to what's going on in the NBA. In the NBA on Friday night, if my computer ever switches over, Toronto went to Philadelphia and lost 121 to 111. Three different Sixers scored 30 plus points. Denver went to Brooklyn and won 122 to 17. Jamal Murray had 32 points. On Saturday, the 23rd, the Cleveland Cavaliers went to Chicago and won 109 to 95. And 
Denver went to Charlotte and beat the Hornets 102 to 95. Michael Porter Jr. had 22 points. On Monday, Christmas, Philadelphia went to Miami and was getting smacked in the first half, but came back to make things interesting, but yet fell short 119 to 113. Golden State went to Denver and lost 120 to 114. Jamal Murray had 38 points as well. And let's just take a quick look at the standings. So in the Eastern Conference, the Boston Celtics lead the Milwaukee Bucks now by a game and a half. Philadelphia 76ers are firmly in that third seed currently, three games back of first, but two and a half games ahead of the Orlando Magic. The Cleveland Cavaliers have moved uh, up from that eighth seed spot to the seventh seed. They are six and a half games back at first. Uh, they are seven and 13 on the year. The top three seeds in the East are all eight and two in their last 10. In the West, the Denver Nuggets now are firmly in control of the second seed. Two games back of the Timberwolves, a game and a half up on the Oklahoma City Thunder. They are eight and two in their last 10 on a nine or five game winning streak. Over to hockey. Let's check out how their weekend went in Ice Town, as it were. So, if we start on Friday or Saturday, as it were, because none of the teams were covering played Friday. On Saturday, the Arizona went to Colorado and lost four to one. And that uh, Seattle went to Anaheim and won three to two as well. Vegas went to Florida and lost four to two. And then no games are going to be played until Wednesday, the 27th. So let's take a look at the standings real quick in the Western Conference Central. The Colorado Avalanche are have 44 points, which are tied with the Dallas Stars for first. However, Dallas is 28 and four, and Colorado is 21, 11 and two. Uh, both teams are six and four in their last 10. Both teams have at least a two game winning streak. Dallas has a three game winning streak in the Pacific. The Vegas Golden Knights, because of their three game losing streak, being five, four and one in their last 10, only have 47 points now, which is two points back of the first place. Vancouver Canucks, who are 23, 9, and 3. They are 7, 1, and 2 in their last 10. And that'll do it for this rendition of the 10 Minute Sports Report. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I will be back some point later this week. I'll get you all set up for a little um, recap of NBA and NHL, and I'll get you all set up for the New Year's Six season. Don't forget to go watch me on streaming if you watch if you are watching this now. Uh, I am streaming on Twitch. I'm Captain Boring sixty nine sixty nine. Wife picked the name. I did not. However, I did agree to it. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We are still in the Christmas season, so comment down below. S Z N. Until next time, everyone. Wash your hands, you filthy animal. Remember, God loves you. I pray God blesses you. Peace out.